On behalf of our center and our partners, the World Economic Forum and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, I'd like to extend a very warm welcome to our audience here in New York, as well as our larger virtual audience participating online today. The Event 201 scenario is fictional. Today's scenario is going to simulate meetings of a multi-stakeholder group called the Pandemic Emergency Board. We're at the start of what's looking like it will be a severe pandemic. And there are problems emerging that can only be solved by global business and governments working together. There has been uh, some conspiracy theories that are around about uh, the potential that pharmaceutical companies or the UN have released this for their own benefit. And maybe this is a time for us to showcase some cases where we are able to, to bring forward some bad actors and leave it before the courts to decide whether they have actually spread some fake news. A new coronavirus. Infected people got a respiratory illness with symptoms ranging from mild flu-like signs to severe pneumonia. In related news, a significant demand for personal protective equipment like N95 masks and gloves are on the rise. Patients are overwhelming healthcare facilities. People are avoiding public spaces out of fear of infection and in compliance with public health recommendations. Our US affiliate has just released polling results on public expectations for a vaccine. And 65% of those polled are eager to take the vaccine, even if it's experimental. I'm not optimistic about having the vaccine in time to be relevant during this pandemic. With enough money and political will, anything is possible. Penalties have been put in place for spreading harmful falsehoods, including arrests. If the solution means controlling and reducing access to information, I think it's the right choice. What exactly are the risks and benefits of staying home from work? Absolutely, we need to save lives, but we literally cannot afford a heavy-handed response that suffocates our economy. The world saw large-scale protests and in some places riots. This led to violent crackdowns in some countries and even martial law. The public lost trust in their respective administration. Economists say the economic turmoil caused by such a pandemic will last for years. The societal impacts the loss of faith in government, the distrust of news, and the breakdown of social cohesion could last even longer.